So good evening all. My name is Kanjal from Signix Group. So today we have Anil from Bureau Director Strategy. So Anil, I will ask you the one question: How was your overall experience in the India Credit Risk Management Summit and Award Ceremony? Uh, thank you, Kanjal, for the question. So. Uh, we've been participating in Cinex events, and uh, we particularly find that the topics that you choose, right, the theme that you have, uh, that's appealing because it's specific and it caters to a set of audience who are inclined towards it, right. Uh, so even today, the agenda was well laid out, and it included various forms of uh, concerns or way forward in terms of how technology can ease some of the challenges that the industry is facing, and so the selection of speakers, the organization, the placement of booths, everything was to our satisfaction. Uh, that's great, Anil. Uh, so the second question, big industry expert, how do you see the BFSI industry next five years? One thing that we've noticed in recent past is the fact that there is greater now emphasis on need for having tight compliance, right? Uh, not just at a policy level, but also in terms of execution, right? If we have to grow in a sustainable manner, that becomes important. And then obviously, uh, the I think we're just beginning to see the kind of uh, growth trajectory that can happen when both technology and uh, a meaningful and an orderly growth can result in transformation of the Indian landscape and how BFSI as an industry can cater to the growth of the nation. So Anil, I totally agree with your word. So the last question, would you like to share your thought on current opportunities and the challenges in the Indian market? So I... <laughs> Uh, we've been hearing about the fact that it is India's century, it's India's decade. So in terms of opportunities, right, we don't need to necessarily, uh, you know, mention this uh, over and over, right? Whether it's in India, whether it's abroad, there's a lot of sense of optimism, right? But challenges appear because perhaps we're still largely fragmented or uh, unorganized in the way things happen. Perhaps there is more streamlining uh, when you look at the urban agglomerations, but uh, the same level of, uh, say, data availability, accessibility is perhaps needed in all forms, right? So, for example, today, one of the biggest needs, right, especially to do with credit or to do with credit risk is about MSME lending, right? And that's something that doesn't just help, you know, the individuals who are in need of it, but it helps in employment and obviously, right, solving a lot of challenges that we face as a middle uh, income country. Right. So I think challenges there can the government and private sector both are collaborating in order to bring together infrastructure that can, you know, make some of these things easier. Uh, but to continue on that, you know, path is where now it leads that collaboration between uh, the public sector, private sector and, uh, you know, the opportunities or uh, fora like, you know, uh, the credit uh, risk management summit we had helps to form those kind of ideas that can propel this movement forward. So I'm still hopeful that we'll be able to overcome the challenges we have today and we'll emerge uh, much stronger and also make finance more inclusive. Thank you so much Anil for sharing your thoughts and experience and thank you so much for your time. Thank you sir. Thank you.